Hey everyone, welcome to the um, Kinder Funding demo. Um, I'm going to walk you through how to apply the New South Wales Start Strong funding as well as the Vic Kinder Funding as well inside Owner. Um, keep in mind, this is probably still a beta release. Um, there might be a few bugs around, um, but hopefully, um, if you do notice any, let us know and we'll be able to fix it and, and get it working perfectly. Um, this also only, only applies for manual invoicing. Um, it's not applied to the auto at the moment. So you can only um, you can only run these invoices manually to get those um, um, uh, kinder funding credits onto the family accounts. Um, the other thing is it only works on the transactional invoicing. So if you're, if you're still using the old method, this ain't gonna work on the old method. So we'll need you to switch over to the, the new method. Right? We could talk about that in a second. First things first, run a report to see which children are eligible. Um, the quick way to do that is um, under reports here, under export children data, you'll see an option down the bottom here. Oops, uh, here it is there. Specify um, a child's age um, um, based on a, a certain date. So you can go to July, for example, run that to say July, view all children, and let you know the ages of the children at that point in time. Okay, and from there on, you'll know who's who's eligible, so to speak. Behind the scenes, I still need to apply for it, but let's assume these children here are all set, ready to go. Um, what you can do is head back over, um, back in the portal here, under CCS, there's an option here for kinder funding. If you just open up that tab quickly, you'll see um, at the moment, it caters, it caters for New South Wales and, and, and Victoria, okay? So with New South Wales, you've got a, not a community mobile preschool. So again, it's a long daycare. It's, 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 a, um, it's, it's anything that's not a community or mobile preschool. The reason being is there is extra funding for a community and mobile preschool. But in most cases, everyone should be a, a um, this top, top, top option here. What you also do is, if this changes to let you know that these, um, the Star Strong funding is 20, just over 2100 $2, per child. Um, and this is where you specify how many weeks you are open for, for the particular year, or you're operating for, for this particular year. Again, as you change that, you'll see this figure changes, um, 51, 50, and so forth. So pick how many weeks you, have, you are open, and it'll give you an amount that you could apply to the children here that are eligible, okay? Um, question might be asked, why don't we just pre-fill all these children with 42? The reason being is there's still a few variables that we are unsure of, so that's why we're not going to automatically make all these children here 42, for example. So you can obviously enter that amount in. And again, you only do it once, obviously, um, so you won't have to keep doing this. But the setup process, um, again, you'll need to enter um, the amount for the children. And you can vary that amount as well. Let's just say, for example, argument's sake, you know, a child um, um i'm not sure this is going to happen but you might be a combination of the both and that and that entitles a, a particular child to more more um more of a, a, a different rate you can enter that rate here as well okay again the variables are known for us at, at this point in time so hence we've made it a, a um, an open field down the bottom here it will let you know how many children were selected and all you need to do is apply it to the children here right once you apply that mike hendrick Ben, Cedric, for example, here, and uh, Omar as well, Omar's on 40, um, we have that kinder funding applied uh, to their invoices every single week. To show you that, so once you've got that all set, um, head over to the um, invoicing screen. I think I've got one open here. Okay, cool. So I've got the invoicing screen open here. This is the transactional um, invoicing method, okay? We made a change to it, whereby you can also specify the, the start date now as well. Right, so what you do, I've got an invoice already generated to um, the period of January the 8th. What I want to do now is I want to create one for, and I'm billing in advance here, um, for the 9th to the 15th. So all I do is select the 9th to the 15th. It has to be Monday to a Sunday. That's the way CCS works. Select the families or all families. I'm only going to choose Lopez Rodriguez because Omar's part of that um, particular family. And again, you can still use tags, special conditions, that kind of stuff, due date, message on the invoice. I'm just going to leave that all blank and go generate invoices. When I do that, it will build out my invoice for me. And it will say, please check below. I just keep on tap on get invoices. You'll see that invoice has been generated there for me, right? 1204. If I open up the transaction log here, let me just refresh that quickly. You'll see 
Uh, this was last week's one, right? So last week, uh, or someone to say last week, the, the week of January 2 to 8, Omar's had a attendance charge of $3 only. He gets $40 per week, but that $40 is greater than $3. So what it does, it applies just the, the amount of, of $3. I don't have CCS here, obviously, because Sunnyside's a fictitious center. Um, but if you had CCS there, it will work out the difference and apply the, the credit for you. For this particular week, 9 to the 15th, $300 for these three sessions here. Uh, no CCS, so obviously the gap's $300. Um, $40 is the, um, is the amount that I set on Omar's profile. As you can see in here, Omar's got $40 selected. And that $40 will get applied onto the attendance for the 9th to the 15th. On the invoice, it's as, um, invoice itself, you'll see this as well. Tap on that there, opens up the invoice. And this is what families will see, obviously. Um, opening balance, 9 to the 15th, $300, $300 charge, a $40 credit with the free relief from New South Wales government. That's the exact term that they want on your statements. And this is obviously for that week of the 9th of Jan. Direct debit fee, obviously, if, you, if, you're going, um, if you're charging parents direct debit fees, it will apply that automatically as well. And lastly, gives me an amount there, 1204, which is due on my invoice for the period of Jan 15, because obviously it's a um, Jan 8 wasn't paid, it carries over to Jan 15. Okay. Um, so you're free to use that right now uh, for New South Wales and, and Victorian centres. Keep in mind though, it is in beta, right? and I'm sure there's probably a few bugs lying around. Uh, we haven't, we haven't, made this available for staff discounts yet so bear that in mind as well um but it works for building the bands it works for building the rears um just have to be mindful uh, we are still testing it and once we're happy with it once we're once we're um, comfortable that it's all working well we'll apply to the automatic invoicing as well but for the time being for those on automatic invoicing you might want to pause that first run your invoices manually uh with these credits applied see how it goes see if there's any issues um and once you're happy with that let us know um and once we're comfortable with it as well we'll put it on the automatic invoices and, and make that a, a recurring thing for this particular year in terms of reporting um just quickly show you down here there's a quick report at the moment whereby you can pick a particular date period here and you can go generate report and it'll let you know the children the number of payments and the funding that they've um that have been applied for that particular child as well okay we'll we'll expand the funding um sorry the funding the, the report as we go uh we have the, we'll capture the data first but the reporting side of things is not um needed until um, um, um the end of this particular quarter so we'll expand on the the reporting side of things um between now and, and the end of the quarter but for the time being you'll be able to run this quick report pulls back a list of all the funding that has been used on what child, how many how many payments, and obviously the the um, the total amount for that child as well. Okay, um, I'm happy with that. I think that covers how to apply it, how to set it up. Um, any issues? Please let us know at support. Um, otherwise, um, have a great rest of the day. Okay.